Hey there, signs of the Water Tribe, and welcome to your horoscopal forecast for the week of March 1st. Uh, we, for those of you who are new to horoscopes, sorry, I had like 10 things I want to say to you guys real quick. <laughs> uh, if you're new to horoscopes, they're short, quick, fast, furious, straight to the point, focusing only on the main energy influences hitting you in the coming week. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And I want to say thank you. Thank you to everybody who wished me happy birthday. Thank you so much. That was that was very kind and I appreciate it. And a shout out to the March Pisces. Happy birthday to you guys. Pisces season's still going. So what do we have in store for us? Water signs, huh? We got Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in that order. Timestamps are below in the description box. Oh, don't forget, every Wednesday, I pick the most viewed horoscopal forecast so those three signs can get their own extended forecast from Wednesday through the weekend. And sometimes we'll get a sneak peek into the following week. So on that note, guys, let's get going. We'll start it off with Pisces. Okay, Pisces. Woo, we got a amazing week ahead. All right, let's see. All right. Okay, we've got fulfillment. Saturn in Sagittarius. A lot of stuff coming in. Emotion fulfillment abundance, uh, prosperity, family, all sorts of good stuff. We also have really interestingly enough, we have Jupiter in Gemini with bluff. I think that some people's bluffs are going to be called out in front of Pisces this week, uh, birth. And we've got that Venus and Cancer birth. A lot of Pisceans are going through a new phase, like kind of, I guess you'd say new timeline, so to speak. <laughs> We're going to look into that a little bit more. And then we have Mercury in Aquarius with originality. Your authentic self is shining strong. Your original ideas, you're actually going to start seeing fruition. If you already put them into action prior to this week, you're going to start seeing it pay off in the most surprising ways. All right, let's break down fulfillment. Some of you might have been feeling five of cups and, you know, the five of cups in the upright, regret, guilt, maybe just feeling lonely and depressed. Well, guess what? That flipped upside down for this week. And I feel the energy is going to start hitting us tonight. Um, and for some, looks like some of you might be getting messages. Finally, now that Mercury's slowly, we're almost out of post shadow. We still have this week to go. Uh, so <clears throat> if it's someone from the past, you might want to, Wait on that just a bit until the following week and then open up dialogue there. But I do feel for some singles, it could be, could possibly be a water sign or someone with very heavy water placement in their chart coming, charging forward with this Knight of Cups energy, offering something very sincere, uh, very loving, something that's going to really lift your spirits. Okay, also fulfillment I also see, it's crossing over into this bluff. So let's look at the bluff. First card that popped out was Justice. Things being righted in your favor, Pisces. Remember, take what resonates and pitch out the rest. Some of you have been waiting, maybe, for things to turn around, for people to see. Look, they're lying. They're full of poop. Oh, my God, you know? Guess what? It's coming around, and they ain't going to be happy about it. You're going to see this. More of cuffs and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. This isn't for us. This is for the people whose bluffs are finally getting called out. Karma is coming in and hard this week for those Pisces that resonates with. Um, for others... <clears throat> I feel like um, I want to say some um, for some Pisces, I do feel that your bluff is being called out, um, but I don't. I'm sorry, I'm listening. This is all for the highest good that this happens. So if you if it resonates or triggers you in any way, shape or form, be prepared. And um, the your advice would be just to. Okay, yep, and take accountability and move forward, and that will reverse your will of fortune. Justice will all depend on how you react to your bluff getting called out. So whoever that's for, okay? Let's go to birth. Anything new you start this week, boom, it's going to be good. Keep it original. Don't, don't manipulate it because you think others will like it better a different way. You need to bring you to the table. And like I was saying earlier, for those of you who have already been putting these original authentic ideas and authentic you out in social media especially, you are starting to see the response. People want to see you. They are attracted to that. That just should fuel you to get more ideas out to so keep going in that direction. We have the tower reverse. You cleared a face. And I was saying like new timelines, new new phase happening for Pisces. This is all Pisces. Okay, especially Sun. Uh, Nine of Swords, getting out of our heads, out of the nightmare, out of the fears. We're stepping out of that 
less less than or you know kind of mentality cup half full i'm not good enough that's coming out because we're getting we're finally starting to get those instead of breadcrumbs we're getting like actual backup in the physical plane and guess what we got ace of wands brand new passionate fiery energy good lifting energy to get things done and started this week originality oh <laughs> because you're being authentic People are watching you. We got Page of Swords, very dominantly watching, observing, learning. Could be people looking at how you are as an influencer. This is something that's going to gear up you, especially in the career area. And if you're looking for love, be prepared to have the floodgates come open. <laughs> okay. We also have Don't Forget. Okay. Six of Pentacles. Make sure you keep the balance. Remember, put you first. Okay, but also make sure that you are also giving what you're receiving this week is very important. Make sure you have that balance of give and take always this week, Pisces. If you want your own personal reading, donation based, you just donate what you feel and you'll get the best in depth reading into any situation. Love, twin flames, the path. Who knows? Your life path, your shadow path. We got this. Message me here on Instagram, Facebook, or if you're watching this on YouTube, down below in the description box below is all the info you need to know to contact me for your reading. Take care, guys. Hey there, Cancer. All right, let's get to it. Okay, first off, we've got uh, Venus in Capricorn with convention. Thinking, staying in your shell, kind of like in the box, kind of. So watch that energy because basically what that's coming in for is to help you break out of the mindset. Expectations always breed disappointment. Things never happen the way we expect it, right? We can depend on that with the energies, especially since we're still in post-shadow Mercury retrograde and this full moon in Virgo has just basically blew things the F up, okay? Just a lot of stuff's been, oh my God, oh my gosh. So in saying that, Maybe your expectations if you're single on a particular person, maybe a what you want in a partner, maybe you have it fixated. That's about to be shattered here this week for you, Cancer. Okay, um, <clears throat> we have the Page of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. Okay, and I don't think it's just love here um, for Cancer, but I do feel that uh, maybe a particular offer, maybe you've been very steadfast on this is how it's going to be. Uh, thinking outside the box and being a little bit more fluid is going to really show you some stuff coming in for you. But I feel like some of you have to release some expectations or release being so rigid. It could possibly be control. We do have authority here. Yes, be authoritative. You know, you, you've got your power back, stand in that, but you still got to be a little bit flexible because some stuff coming in might be better than what you already have planned out, especially since the divine is all over your week, okay, with the energy. So we have the Page of Cups, so you want to be open. Don't shut down uh, any sincere offers coming forward. It could be from another, could possibly be uh, from another water sign, or it could be um, someone with water in their uh, placement in their chart, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, coming in to offer something or maybe to respond. Um, maybe you reach out to somebody and they come across, maybe it seems like a little bit more romanticized about an offer maybe or a project or even let's meet for coffee and they kind of it sounds like just give them a chance <laughs> just step back okay before you shut that down because it could just be a defense mechanism usually when we get into the box and go no it's not fitting in this box you know then sometimes we miss out on a lot of wonderful things there cancer page of pentacles same thing offers um trustworthy uh, could be an earth sign possibly a uh, placement in their chart it could be virgo taurus capricorn also this could be in business there are offers trying to be delivered messages news uh it could possibly be related in business or in love or it could be family members maybe somebody that you um you know had a conflict with is now starting to try to reach out and come back into the fold um stand your ground yes you already know better you know that situation whoever that's for remember take a resonates put you out the rest but to be open i think you're going to be very much surprised the new stuff that's going to come in that's going to be way better than you could have ever planned it there cancer okay so we've got the moon in sagittarius optimism I think seeing the light, I think that's going to shine the light on the boxed areas. We have a, that Knight of Swords energy. You're like, oh, I'm kicking ass and taking names. You're ready to go. You're like, yes, do that. <laughs> Watch the impulses. So you do want to make sure you have a plan before you go charging forward into battle. Okay. Because you want to make sure you know exactly where everybody's at before you, you know, start slicing and dicing through maybe people that are actually there to support you. We also have the Six of Cups energy. 
doesn't necessarily mean the past, but it does mean feeling good. Um, uh, maybe um, you're going to have more interaction with children. Maybe some of you uh, might be surprised to find out you, there's going to be a new addition on the way in. But definitely a beautiful, uh, energetic, you're brave, balls out, I'm going for it. Happy, happy mood. And there's going to be a lot of stuff backing that up in the physical plane if you choose to see it. Cancer. We have publicity. We got Jupiter in Leo. So uh, like I said, with that night, where did I see a night? Oh my God. Sorry, that was a Pisces, but I really feel like you're being eyeballed and watched for those of you who do a lot of work on social media. We have the Ace of Swords, a lot of clarity coming in on what direction you want to go. Go with that gut, Cancer. You're out of this now. I feel like you're going to be more clear headed, more level headed about where you want to go for yourself, for your business whatever you're doing, okay? It could be in your job, like, you know, in a storefront, in your, your career. Um, whatever it is, do that. You're gonna be fired up to do that. Utilize that Knight of uh, Swords with the Ace of Swords energy and get it out there. You will be recognized and knows and we have authority keeping. You, can, you are already in power there, Cancer, so you don't have to worry. You just gotta remember to keep balance, okay? You don't have to, you know, <laughs> fling your authority like i'm in power you can't step on me they know that okay so <clears throat> for some of you you may have earth placement in your chart i get the king of pentacles here or it could be someone with that in their chart somebody's leaving to head towards a brand new uh, area. It could be love. It could be career. I feel like some of you who have, I just really feel really strong, I feel really strong, feel strongly that if you have earth placement in your chart, Virgo, Cancer, or Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, that may be you finally taking the steps towards a life that you feel you deserve. Uh, maybe towards a, another, a fire sign or someone with fire in their chart it could be Aries, um, Leo, or Sagittarius. It's a queen of wands. Remember their energy is not gender. If you do that, if this is you, success. It may be somebody choosing that to come towards you there, Cancer. If you want your own personal reading, either way, it's going to be victorious. You guys are going to have a good week. Just get out of the box and be wide open. The universe is bringing some really cool shit to you. I'm telling you guys, you're going to be surprised. Okay, so if you want your own personal in-depth reading, they're all donation-based. Just donate what you feel is right for you. For your reading, contact me here on Instagram, Facebook. If you're watching this on YouTube, down below in the description box is the info to contact me for your reading. Take care, guys. Hey there, Scorpio. All right. If you've been worried about your health, maybe feeling very down with the energies, maybe a little, a little heavy there, uh, get ready to start feeling better. We got the sun in uh, Virgo here, uh, boosting energy, also putting the focus on self-care. If you want to pamper yourself this week, you deserve it, Scorpio. We also have the hangman reverse. Clarity, getting clear. Look at that light up here. It's like clear. You also have the ace of swords, clarity and focus. You're going to start seeing things a lot more clear than now. The energies are settling down a bit, even though we are still in Mercury post shadow. We have intuition at its height, heightened with uh, Mercury in Cancer. Okay, your intuition is going to be off the charts. Pay attention to your dream time. I don't know who that's for. Take what resonates. Your mainline energy that's barreling through or really powerhousing through Scorpio is the Eight of Wands. Things moving very quickly. However, watch that impulsiveness this week, Scorpio, and all that you do. Take your time. Step back. It's one thing to feel the passion, but you need to step back. You can't just be really impulsive because you're going to see some stuff, okay, that's going to make things maybe a better route for you to take uh, to get your Nine of Cups. I feel like a lot of you are going to be guided with this resourcefulness we have the sun and cancer also influencing here with the nine of cups and what's that saying is with this clarity and stuff coming together six of wands guaranteed victory okay by the end of the week you guys are gonna be going holy crap and it's all about getting a handle you need to batten down that impulses for some of you you might see the way clear for commitment not only for others maybe it could be an engagement maybe some of you will be getting engaged but this is also about committing to yourself and to your highest good here going forward there, Scorpio, things, I mean, really, if you're impulsive, been impulsive lately, that's the area you need to go, okay, enough. So if you want your own <laughs> donation-based reading, you just donate what you feel, you can contact me here on Instagram and Facebook, or if you watch this on YouTube, down below in the description box below, and I'll give you the best damn reading you ever had. Any area. Take care, guys.